as we all woke up Saturday to the horrific scenes of innocent civilians being murdered and slaughtered by a terrorist attack from Hamas. I watched with horror of what was transpiring. As many of you know, ever since I've been in Congress, I would lead a delegation to Israel every term. When I took over, I made sure it was bipartisan and joined with then-leader Steny Hoyer to get a clear understanding. As speaker, my very first trip internationally was to Israel. I spoke at the Knesset in honor of the 75th anniversary of the creation of their country. At this moment in time, I think about what I said inside their chambers. I said, our values are your values. Our heritage is your heritage. Our dreams are your dreams. America is grateful for our friendship with Israel. We are a better nation because of it. And we must never shy away from defending it. Now is the time for action. America needs a five-point plan to meet this moment to help our ally Israel, and to strengthen our own future. The very first thing we need to do is rescue the American hostages. President Biden's number one priority right now must be finding out how many Americans have been taken hostage and get them home. From last night to this, this morning, the number of American deaths have doubled from four to nine. This administration must also make clear that harming any American will result in the wrath of the United States. We cannot repeat what happened in Afghanistan. It must be clear that we do not negotiate with terrorists and no American will be left behind. Biden's policy on appeasement, including money for hostage deals, must come to an end. His policy has over only emboldened terrorists. And handing over $6 billion to Iran only helps the cause. In explaining that to members of Congress, they said they had provisions to refreeze the money if Iran has done something wrong. They should freeze the money back today. Secondly, the leader of Hamas is reported to be sitting in a five-star hotel, cheering, watching women, children, grandparents being slaughtered and murdered in the streets. President Biden should demand his extradition now. Second, we must be there for our friend Israel. And what that means, it means action now. You see, I've been down to Gaza many times. I've sat next to the Iron Dome in a bipartisan group of members from both sides of the aisle. When we talked to those soldiers and asked them what they feared, is to be overwhelmed. See, a battery, if an Iron Dome would go up and knock out a missile, it would first calculate where that missile was going and go next to it and knock it out. But it only has about 20 missiles at a time. We're watching 5,000 go. We always knew their, their plan was to build enough missiles to overwhelm, and that first set of missiles to be dumb missiles, until you took out all the ability in the Iron Dome to knock them down. Then you send the precision-guided, long-range missiles to go to larger populations. We need to resupply Israel where they have no doubt that they will ever be overwhelmed.